I paid $50 to one hacker and then $500 to another hacker to create for me a new malware. But then things got super weird and it cost me another $5,000. So let's see what a $50 hacker gives you. To be safe, I'm running this inside a virtual environment, which is like running Windows inside Windows. Let's see what 50 bucks gives you. So let's double click on encrypt everything and... <laughs> nothing it's clearly readable so let's go look at the code and see what we got for our 50 dollars worth so firstly it's a batch file all these rem statements they look fancy but they're just comments they do absolutely nothing initiating bypass detection bypass status okay the only real line to worry about is this one which just renames the file to encrypted Okay, that was laughable. Who would have thought that a random bot would be an absolute ripoff? Okay, now onto the $500 hacker. Am I gonna get ripped off just as much? Let's see this one. Right, here are the two files from this guy. Encrypt, okay, this looks a little bit better. It's a PowerShell script. Okay, now that's interesting. Some real code. All right, let's go see what happens. Right click, run with PowerShell. And the file is being encrypted, confidential encrypted. We've seen this before. Question is, has it really been encrypted? Let's open that up with Notepad again. Moment of truth. Oh, well done. Okay, nice. The file is encrypted. The code works. No antivirus was triggered. Good job, Mr. $500. So at this point, I was going to go dive into the code and show you what it does. But then this is where things got seriously weird because I got this message. I see you wanted some codes that won't trigger the antivirus, that's easy, but I have a better code that can jump from the VM, the virtual environment, to the host to turn that into a crypto mining computer. $5,000. Wait, what? Now this is super interesting. Why? Because the whole point of running it in a virtual environment is that it doesn't infect your main computer. And this guy says that he can do that? So I've got to see this. And of course, I paid. The things I do for this channel. And guess what? He delivered. If this is true what he's saying, am I about to infect myself? So the only safe way for me to test this is to run this on a standard laptop that has just got Windows, nothing confidential, no accounts are logged in. Wish me luck. It looks like the icon for Notepad++, which is a text editor. Let's see, yeah, and just fires up a text editor. Uh-oh, $5,000, people. Um, I've got to go see the task manager. So let's go into that and see what's going on. Yeah, it still says Notepad++. I got a bad feeling. Let's go to the details. Oh, okay, hold on. Liron.exe. So it's disguised as Notepad++, but it looks like it's got some processes that are running. But now the big question is, what about the host machine? Because that's the whole thing, break out of the virtual machine. So this one is the task manager for my main computer. Oh my God, there it is. Liron.exe. Wow. Uh, and just so that we're not cheating here, 831, 831, the host machine and the VM are in sync. So it's running at the same time. And you can see that the process jumped from the virtual machine to the host machine. This is wild. All right, let's see what happens if you close that task on the virtual machine. Let's end that process. I'm just curious to see if the other one will keep running. Yes, it does. No way. So this is actually has just turned this machine into a crypto mining machine, just like that. This guy isn't messing around. That actually worked. Now, going through the code, which of course I'm not gonna show here for obvious reasons, but the way that it does it, it kind of downloads one set of files and then trickle feeds another set of files and bypasses the antivirus by disabling certain folders. I can say that much. Uh, it also needs very set circumstances for this to work and for the geeks out there, it's done by exploiting some known vulnerabilities in unpatched VM players. Uh, you can Google that. Well, I've got one more thing I wanna try. Some of you may recall a previous video where I ran custom malware on a laptop that has the Intel V Pro platform. And even though I had custom malware for those tests as well, Intel V Pro used the advanced AI technology to detect any weird anomalies and it instantly blocked those hacking attempts. 
So, you know where I'm going with this. I called my friends up at Intel and told them about this mysterious malware that could break out of a virtual environment. I really expected them to freak out and ask for a copy of the malware, but they were not concerned at all. In fact, they told me to run it on their machine. They even said they would sponsor this video regardless of the result. Well, that's an offer I cannot refuse. So... <laughs> it's time to test a $5,000 crypto mining malware against the Intel V Pro platform and see if the tech that is baked into the hardware can actually stop this too. So it's basically the same setup. The only difference is that now running on an Intel V Pro platform, as you can see from this sticker, this machine is running Windows 11 and the virtual machine is going to be running Windows 10. I guess the moment of truth has arrived. Let's do this. So same files. There's my notepad plus plus. Let's run it. Okay, so it runs like it did before. Let's go to the task manager. Just want to make sure we're comparing apples with apples. There's your task manager. Notepad plus plus. Go to the details. And Leron.exe is running on the VM environment. Okay, we cool with that. That's what's supposed to happen. But now, what about the host? Did it manage to break out of the virtual machine? So let's do a search. Ah, look at that. No results found. What about Notepad? No, nothing either. Brilliant. Well done. Hey, seriously, how insane is that? Even though there was no way for the laptop to know about this virus, it managed to stop it in its tracks. We are witnessing a combination of Intel Hardware Shield along with the Intel Trusted Execution Technology, along with AI and machine learning, and they all work together at the hardware level to ensure that no anomalies are present. The second it found this like dodgy process, it worked with its local antivirus and stopped it before it could do any damage. And the best bit is that this works right out of the box with no configuration required. And what is really scary is just like we are all using AI, so are these threat actors and their attacks are getting more and more sophisticated. And this is why ever since I've started working with Intel and heavily testing their system, I tell every business, no matter how big or small, to always look for that V Pro sticker. When you have it, you not only get that glorious Intel processing tech, but you get that level of protection that we need. I've got more information in the description below. You can check it out. And if you want to check out how hackers are stealing passwords right out of your computer memory, check this out right over here. But before you head out, give the video a quick thumbs up and I will see you in this video. Let's go.